Ways to reduce drag? Here's a few. There's lots of the obvious ones. Here's smooth surface. There's the one I haven't mentioned there, just to reduce the boundary layer drag. Otherwise, aeronautical engineering. That's a dot that's about diameter 8 millimetres. That's a symmetrical aerofoil, or it's meant to be. There you go, that's a little bit more symmetrical. That's symmetrical, about 120 millimetres thick. That's 8 millimetres thick. They generate the same amount of form drag. This, because it's got a large area behind it, generates large amounts of drag. This, because it's streamlined, generates identical amounts of drag. So that is aerodynamic. A wire, 8 millimetres round, is not. This is why the Wright Brothers planes and all the early biplanes were inefficient. They had a whole stack of wires in them that were holding the wings together. Fairly important that wings get held together, but the payoff was they had a massive amount of drag. Get rid of the drag by get ridding, getting rid of surfaces that are non-aerodynamic. Fuselage blending, let's look at a modern plane. The wings aren't sharp. They're normally blocked in with something here to make it smooth transitions as you face the wind. This will generate extra vortices. This will generate extra drag. Get rid of it by putting in a smooth surface or a smooth curve. Blend them in. Think about what a fighter, pilot, fighter jet looks like straight on. There's your wing. Front on, a fighter jet looks like that. Smooth surfaces. And it's also designed so the fuselage gives you extra lift as well. Aspect ratio of wings is important. We spoke earlier about the induced vortex drag. The longer the air passes over a wing, the bigger the vortex. So that is going to create a lot more vortex than that. This is a glider. Or if you look at a bird, it's an albatross. The one's designed for long distance flight. This is more an owl, something designed for quick flight. Wide wings that are shorter. Endurance, wide wings that are narrower, so it reduces flight. Problem you've got with wide wings as an aeronautical engineer is that aspect ratio. You need to have something to hold the wing up. Ideally for aeronautics, you want as thin as possible. Thin as thin as possible. For this, you want the wings as thin as possible to do the job. The problem is, you've got to hold the plane up structurally and you need enough thickness in the wing to make it work. A jumbo jet or an A380 is massively thick, tapering out to nothing. That's more what the wings look like. Thick tapering out to nothing for that reason out here you don't need to have a lot of material holding up the wing tip back here you most certainly need an awful lot of material to hold up the weight of the plane as well as the wing dumb question was a propeller at the front of the plane you could actually put a propeller Instead of sitting at the front of the plane, you can make what they call a pusher aircraft. That's the low pressure area. So all the turbulence from the wings gets sucked and pushed out the propeller. Instead of turbulence, more turbulence, and out it goes. There are many ways to reduce drag. That's an overview.